Hi everyone, so today is Monday, November 6th, and there's just so much news. Oh my god, can you believe every day? It's crazy. It's just like I feel like just to catch up with all the news that come out on a given day, and I really, I really want to be done with all the people I have on the list, but stuff keeps coming up. And yesterday, I uh, saw the news about Saudi Arabia. I really know nothing about Saudi Arabia, only the very basic. And I read that there had been a coup in Saudi Arabia. And of course, you're reading, and then like three days before, Jared Kushner was in Saudi. Like, hello. Uh, Jared Kushner. What the hell? Like, Meanwhile, there's like all this investigation, all this stuff, and Jared Kushner is like hanging. Out. He went to Saudi Arabia twice before this. I remember because it was in the news, and now it's like, oh, okay. So, so anyway, so this is is going. So the this is the first reading. I actually did a, a reading before this one earlier, and I took a picture, and I'm gonna go over it later. But this one is about the person in Saudi Arabia who who went like who is in power and did this, you know, got the coup started. Okay. So I, like I said, I know nothing about this person. And he is a prince, a crown prince in Saudi Arabia. And it's in Saudi Arabia. So it's a monarchy and there's all these, it's like this family that, that owns everything. And they're like, like all these cousins. And I don't really understand exactly how it works. But um, there was somebody else ahead of him in line of the throne. And this guy, according to, to news, is like is a young guy. And so he hung out with Jerry Kushner and they got, got along really well. And so then, after, you know, then Jerry Kushner leaves and like, hello, there's a coup in Saudi Arabia. And it's like, oh, wow, I wonder. Jerry Kushner, he's up to his, like, can you imagine Jared Kushner is like, Oh my god, I can't even, I just can't even, so anyway, so I, so I did a reading, and it's kind of interesting, because as with many of these readings, I don't really know, I don't have much background on the situation, I don't know what, what happens, or the details, so I just, I'm just going to go over quickly what I see here, and basically what I see is the guy, he's a real snake, and that he's kind of like an immature, emotional person, I'm like, hmm, Interesting personality profile, but anyway, so yeah, he's an immature person, and there's still there's of course the influence of Russia too here in this, and I'll just just go over it quickly because it's showing me here because I wanted to do that I was curious about what's going to happen to this guy because like did it did did his plan succeed is like because all these people died and all these people in the, their own royal like he ordered the killing of his own family. Or like cousins what I don't understand exactly but that's kind of you know crazy so anyway so I'm just like curious like are they gonna let him get away with this because there's a guy who is a very important investor on Twitter and Facebook who was arrested or whatever so anyway so it's I so I basically asked what's gonna happen to him to the person who put this stuff and all of this in motion okay so so um so it's showing that in the end, I don't know if he goes to jail, but somebody goes to jail. I know that the person that I'm talking about already went to jail, but I feel like maybe he will eventually go to jail over there for this. I don't know. Again, it's all very speculative. I just want to go over it because I it's interesting, considering the situation that we're you know we're dealing with Jared Kushner, right? And and so I want to know what what's up with this guy because I already I've already done the reading on what he was doing there, but I just want to know more about this guy. So I think his name is Mohammed bin Salem. Um, and, and anyway, so he's a snake, okay? He's a, you guys, you can see that he's a snake. And he's a very emotional, creative person. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? And this was done out of like this, the sense of, yeah, I feel like it's an emotional thing for him. It wasn't like, I mean, obviously it was calculated because I'll show you, he has like a fox underneath. So he's one of these like really shady people too. And there's like, quietness in the background and we know that fox is a card of like intrigue right is so the snake is a person that you work with or that you know that is in your environment that has a double it's like like a double fake you know like it's like fake 
but this the fox is stuff behind your back that you're not aware of okay so like i feel like this is an image of a very quiet place and there's all this like shady stuff going on so it's like this is like a really what is it like i love how people describe it this guy is, is a real character so so yeah so he's like not a trustworthy person at all and i feel like he planned this very quietly okay so even though like i said he is a very emotional person like he planned this pretty coldly okay i don't have a feeling that this was sudden okay necessarily all right but that he wanted he was in pain or there was some sort of pain that he wanted to this is like a card of a per this is a person burdened and this is a card of the person trying to unburden him or, her, or herself. And this is a card of pain, right? Of fighting and pain. So he wanted to, like, there was conflict. Okay, a lot of, like, loud, like, kind of, like, physical, like, not pain in the sense of emotional pain, but kind of, like, fight. Okay, like, conflict. So he wanted to unburden himself with this, you know, of this conflict. And I also feel like he... This is a, the card of the plan. And I've, I saw this yesterday for something else. And I found this like really interesting how it showed up here. Because I feel like, so this is the sun. So I feel like he uncovered some sort of plan. I, that's the feeling I get. Because then right next to it is a secret. But like, I have a feeling that he wanted to get rid of this, this climate of disagreement. And, um. Uh, and I, I have, I do have a feeling that he exposed some sort of plan or even, or like he sh could, he could also be possible that he's showing his plan, his own plan. But at the same time right here, this is interesting because this guy, he's like, he looks like he's in his twenties. I actually think he's kind of cute. I know like, okay, don't judge. All right. So like, but he's, he wants to be the emperor. Okay. And this is the key. The reading showing me that this is the key. Like the, the goal for him is so that he can get power. Right. So he, he was the whole the first moment where he was getting unburdened. So it's like he wants to get rid of obstacles, basically, so that he can really get the power that he wants. And this is a secret. So maybe the whole thing was, OK, this is a card of victory and clarity. This was um, upside down. So I feel like in a way it means that either the plan, it didn't go exactly as planned or that whatever he unfoiled wasn't exactly the way that he had planned it to be. Okay. So, so it's, it's interesting. I feel like in some way I still, I still do have this feeling that there was something else going on behind his back and that either he uncovered it or he's uncovering his own plan, his own secret. Yeah. Because the secret is right. Yeah. It's right behind, like underneath him. So it's, it's like he, he's basically on, shed light onto his, the secret that he had and what I like how is this secret the secret is shady okay because then he encounters a fox so it's like it's a like it's a schemey secret right it's a secret in the like very quietly arranged and the key here okay, and then going back to the key the key is um leads to the snake so he is the emperor and he's a snake so so that's that. And then the, the like going the forward and forward motion here we have, and that's pretty interesting. I think that it, and I feel like maybe that's where Jared Kushner ties in with this, because again, I did, I did not ask at all about Jared Kushner, but I feel like the person that I'm seeing here is very unstable, both on an emotional level and on a maturity level. So it's like, okay, I'll show you here. So then this is like kind of so creepy to look. This was right next to it, right? So like when you look at this, you could see that like, okay, this is like a snake, right? So right, you have the moon card, which is the card of like a person not seeing clearly, but it's also just the moon, right? It's like literally a card about the moon and what happens in the middle of the night. And then you have Coffin. So I feel like in relationship to the fact that this was a coup, like the whole thing happened in the middle of the night on the down low. Okay, and this is like a little bit creepy. This is like, like I feel like, like I said, I, I, I shuffle all the cards a lot, but it showed up. So I feel like this is the Page of Cups um, reversed. And it speaks of like immature behavior, okay, and like tantrums. Like it's feel like all this like reversed male, male 
in the cups have this quality, but this one is like this. Okay. And then what's this? It's the, the um, foreign influence. So I feel like because, and I, the feeling that I get is this, because this person is so immature, this is an opportunity for the foreign power to influence the situation. Okay. So like in the middle of the night, there are these deaths so whatever, and the foreign power comes in. And you could also see it like, oh, it's, it's the end of what? The foreign power influence. But I, for some reason, I feel like in the context of the things we're asking and the things we're seeing, it's not true. It's just that after an ending comes the foreign power, okay? Because I'll show you why next. And, and this is interesting because of like, I was reading about the geopolitical consequences of what happens if there's instability in Saudi Arabia, okay? And this, the, this is the card of stability, okay? And it's like I said, I, before I used to never like care much about it, but I feel like in the moment that we're living, it showed up a couple of times, but like, it's very interesting because like, it's almost like we didn't, we weren't aware of how important it is to have stability in the world. And of course it's upside down. So then in the con, so, so then this part of the reading ends with like instability and then what comes? The Russian lady. So all of this leads to an environment of instability where the lady, the Russian lady can thrive. And you have here, this is a card of like a brash person. Like a, I was reading just now because I wanted to read it again just to make sure. It's like the card for the bratty teenager. So it's like, okay, and what happens? He's in the house. So it's like, not only do we have instability that is the background for greater power to the lady, but we have like a teenager who is in charge of the palace, okay? And the, the lady is influencing the palace, okay? So so that's what it is. That's what it's, it's shown, the situation, how it unfolded, that he's like, it seems like a very volatile person. And as you know, people who have big egos and like are kind of unstable are much easier to influence than somebody who's like normal, okay? So like, I feel like, this was a really a great opportunity for like Russia to get more power in the region. So I wanted to know, cause I was like, Oh my God, what's going to happen to him? Like, is he going to get away with this? What, like, right. Like what is, because I, I, again, I don't know if like, if there can be a counter coup or whatever, like, I don't know. It seems like they're all very, this is what I don't understand. Cause I feel like they're all very powerful, all of them. So how, like, are they going to let this guy get away with everything? And it's just, and I feel like they're going to kill. Like I was like, okay, what's going to happen like next? Okay. So then it's showing here, this is just a card in the context of the question and the, and the, the, the spread. It's saying there's something, something about money. What about money? Conversation. So a lot of like a lot of chatter, a lot of conversations about money um, and how, so this is a card of disappointment. There's public disappointment. Okay, and this and a lot of chatter about money and everything, all of this is public, and there's public disappointment with this. And then this is like a person, and it's interesting why I say this now, because I said before, when I first started doing these readings, I did some research on the cards that signify prison, and this was the one card that it that they all said, Oh, this is a card of prison. But it's funny because in like traditional tarot, this is a traditional tarot card. If everything is kind of like symbolic and like it's like, oh, you know, you, you, you're imprisoned by your own ideas or whatever. But it's like, I've learned when I started doing the Lenormand, which is this one, I've learned to use cards in a way that's much more direct. So if it's a prison, it's an actual prison. So in the end, this person, which I think is him, ends up going to prison. So I don't know. Like I said, it's in a way, it's very low stakes for me to do this because I'm not involved in any way. But I feel like I want to know like the basics of the situation and, and what caused it and what's going on. So, so that's what's going on. And that was a Prince crown, Prince Mohammed bin Salem. I think his name is. And he's friends with Jared Kushner. Oh, Jared. He's just has, he has such a gift. He's so, uh, he's so such a, he attracts people. You know what I mean? Like, like if somebody's friends with Jared Kushner, it's like, like to say that they're bad people, it's like some like I don't know. It's like they, can you imagine like being oh I'm sorry, Jared, my friend Jared. Like that guy is so evil, and it's weird because he's kind of dumb. 
you know what I mean? It's like I find it fascinating in a way because it's like he gets all this like evil stuff done, but he's he, I feel like he's kind of dumb. It's so weird. Anyway, so that's it. That was that's all. That's all I wanted to say about this reading, and I'm moving on to the next. Thanks for watching. Bye.